freeing up the land resources or monetizing the land resources, looking at the idea of defense bonds, and perhaps even looking at the idea of a cess, uh, you know, which reminds one of the period of the, the Cargill cess. Which of these do you think seem the most doable uh, in terms of, uh, you know, building the framework that we do need to going into going into this year? I think these are the issues which need uh, to be seriously considered. Uh, bond, I think, is not a very feasible idea because uh, bond issuing bond is basically uh, 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 delaying the current liability because in the future somebody has to pay. So that liability cannot be postponed uh, uh, indefinitely. But I agree with uh, Mr. Mohan Kumar that land, uh, 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 which the process are sitting on a huge area, uh, can be monetized. In fact, there is a comprehensive CAG report uh, which talks about how much land is uh, misutilized or underutilized. I think a comprehensive plan needs to be worked out by the government and the surplus land uh, could be monetized. Uh, another area that the Ministry of Defense or the government of India could think of is the disinvestment of the government-owned companies, particularly those companies which are under the Ministry of Defense. All the PSUs, uh, they, could, they could be disinvested. In fact, some have, have already been disinvested and the rest could be uh, disinvested. That money can come back to the government. Uh, but the problem for the Ministry of Defense is that whatever money will come back, will actually go to the Ministry of Finance. And there is apprehension that even the Ministry of, De Ministry of Finance may not actually part, of, part away the, the, the same amount to the Ministry of Defense uh, in its uh, budget. So that is a, a fear that the, the Ministry of Defense has to actually uh, deal with. But I think the most uh, feasible idea, solution to step up the defense uh, in the current, uh, in the short term would be to levy additional tax. So if I may say that we are presently paying around 10 rupees uh, uh, rupees uh, says on every liter of uh, petrol and diesel. So extra 50 paisa or 25 paisa could actually move up around uh, 5 to 6,000 crore every year. And that money can be given to the uh, Ministry of Defense and the Defense Forces for the capital uh, uh, upgradation. Uh, so I think these are the, these are the areas uh, which uh, the, the good part is that the 14th uh, Finance Commission, which was actually tasked specifically to find uh, new avenues to step up uh, defense modernization, and I hope uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the commission has already submitted its report to the government of India. And the next budget, uh, the union budget, will be crucial because the finance minister will lay out uh, the, the plan, uh, uh, highlighting what measures have been actually implemented by the government from the finance commission. So we have to wait and watch till February 1st to see how much, uh, uh, how many recommendations from the 14th finance commission are going to be implemented.